boys and girls, you're very welcome to Holy Bible Club 2020. Over the years we've been having our Holy Bible Club in Five Mile Town College, but because of COVID-19 we have decided to run our Holy Bible Club this year as an online event. We're very thankful to Phil Harden and his team who have put together wonderful Holy Bible Club videos with all of your favourite Bible stories and quizzes. And there's some exercises as well, there's worksheets, so keep an eye out for those and your mum and dad will be able to download those. So you ask your mum and dad to watch out every day on our Facebook page or our WhatsApp group and you'll be able to download the videos and the worksheets and plenty of great exercises for you to get on with. They're going to be available every day from the 24th of August for five days right through to the Friday and those are going to be released every day at 10 o'clock. If you have any questions, if you want to get through to Phil or you want to talk to me or you have anything you want to say to us through the course of the week there's going to be an email address and there's going to be a phone number given out at the end and you can send us through a message and we will get back to you and just make sure your mum and dad are aware that that message is going through or ask them to do that for you. So I really hope you enjoy Holy Bible Club 2020 and we'll ask Phil now to release the videos for the course of the week. Boys and girls, it's day five of our High Five Bible Club. Give us a high five. This is our final one. High five. What are we going to think about today? Well, I'm thinking this is our last day and we're going to be waving goodbye to you all. But you know, as we think about this today, we're thinking about one word and let me see if you can guess it. Because when I think about a friend, about friends, I want a friend that will stick by me, even though sometimes I'll maybe do something wrong or say something wrong, they'll not walk away. And it reminds me of someone who is faith, what is it? What's the last part of the word? Well, it's faithful. And we're going to learn today that God is faithful. He can be trusted. But we'll find out more shortly because we have lots of things in our programme. Even though it's our last day, it's action-packed. Before we get into our programme, let's all pray. Let's do our prayer drill. You know it well by now? Okay, so stand up, shoulders back, get your hands out. Are you ready? Give them a little bit of shake. And it's P-R-A-Y. Let's pray. Dear Lord, this is our final day of Bible Club. And we thank you for all that we've learned already each day about thee. And we just pray that you'll be with us today. We pray that you'll help us to think. You'll help us to take part in all, all of the different activities. And we just pray that maybe someone today will come to know the Lord Jesus as their saviour. And come to learn that God is faithful he will stick with us through the storms and difficulties that we face in our lives. Just be with us now. Take our thanks for all that you've given us and all that you're going to do, even today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Here we go. God is so good. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to learn this verse, and this verse is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 24, and it simply says, Faithful is he that calleth you. When I think about this verse, it reminds me of what we're learning today about that God is faithful, that God keeps his promises, and his promises are to you and me. Where do we find God's promises? Where do we find them? In the Bible, in God's word. So, let's try and learn it 
and see if you can get this. Okay, so let's go up off the sofa, stand up, and we'll try it after two. All right, so we're going to say the Bible says after two. One, two. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 24, Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Can you do the actions? Try it one more time. And then after that, we're going to hide a word, okay? We'll see if you can get it. So you have to learn it as good as you can, as quick as you can, okay? So we're going fast. After two. One, two. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 24, Faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Simple, isn't it? I wonder who it's talking about when it says faithful is he. Well, that's a reminder that God is faithful and that God doesn't only love us as we've been learning about this week, but God is faithful and keeps his promises. So let's go. We'll hide a word now. Are you ready? Okay, so let's go. After two, and we'll say the Bible says, I'm going to miss the word out. Let's see if you can add it in. After two, one, two. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 24, Faithful is he that you who also will do it. Did you get the word? What was it? Shout it out. Yes, well done. Okay, you're, doing, you're, you're getting even better. Okay, so we'll try it one more time very, very quickly. And what I want you to do, I want you to jog on the spot. Okay, after two, one, two. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and verse 24, faithful is he that calleth you who also will do it. Well done. Thank you. My God is so big. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The rivers are His, the mountains are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Well, boys and girls, day five. Want to give a high? Five. This is our final day. Oh, I can't believe how quickly the week has went. Listen, can anybody here behind me tell me, what is this? What's this famous landmark? This famous area behind me? What is it? Does anyone know? Does anyone know, in fact, the city? And what was built there? What was built in this place? It was something really big, and it begins with T, and the city's called Belfast. So what was built here, do you know? It was a great ship called the Titanic. Exactly right. Now we're thinking about the shipyard, we're thinking about boats, and we'll come back to that. Okay, all right. So we're going to just see who can remember what we've been talking about this week so far, okay? So remember, our theme of our week was called High Five, okay? And that reminds us of five different things that we have been learning about God that are five amazing facts about God. So I wonder, do you remember what the very first day was on Monday? Um, so I'll do a high five and let's see if you can shout out what we learned about God on the Monday. All you have to do is... God is, and tell us what it was. Okay, so the first one on Monday, we learned God is holy. Exactly right. Tuesday then, we learned God is love. On Wednesday, we learned God is powerful. Isn't that right? On Thursday, we learned that God is wise. And on Friday today, we're going to learn a little more that God is faithful. 
faithful. What does that mean? Well, it simply means that, that God is honest, he's reliable, and he's to be trusted. He's to be trusted. I wonder, do you always keep your promises? I don't know about you, but sometimes we can be tempted with things. And I'm sure you're no different because all of us are tempted. And I wonder, has anybody in your house, maybe your mum or someone, has made some nice buns? Or has made some nice food? And maybe it's a nice pizza. Maybe your dad makes a nice pizza or a barbecue. And the food is sitting there and it's just ready. And he's away to wash his hands or something or he'll be back in a minute. And he, and he says, don't touch the food. And you're thinking, and you say, okay, I promise. I, I, I promise. And he, and he says to you, you promise me don't to touch that? And he's thinking, he wants to get it too. And so he goes away and he comes, when he's away, well, when he's away, you might look at it and go, hmm, oh, that smells so good. I tell you what, I'll have a little piece. Take a little bit. Mm. And then before another piece and another piece, and he still hasn't come back, and you have a whole slice gone of that pizza. And then as your dad comes walking back in, or your mum, if it was the buns or whatever, and they might say, But you promised me. And you have broken your promise. We break our promises at times, boys and girls. But I want to remind you that God doesn't break his promises. In fact, it's impossible for God to lie. And there's a little verse that we've been learning today, and it simply says that faithful is he. It's in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 24. Faithful is he. Who's it talking about? It's talking about God himself, that God is faithful. He is reliable, and he is to be trusted with everything he says, especially his word. God's word is truth, and it is true and faithful. Well, we're thinking about God being faithful, and we think about God's word. I want us to, to think particularly today about this boat that I was mentioning earlier, okay? This particular boat, all right? So as I think about the boat, I think about one man, and he's called Noah. What's he called? Noah. This man, Noah, well, when people all around him had no time for God. Noah was someone that trusted God, that loved God, and would speak up for God. That's what God's looking for still today in the world. But way back in these days, God looks down in the world, and all he sees is evil. He sees violence, and he sees people hurting each other, and stealing, doing all of those sinful things. And so God, he is going to destroy that world with a flood he warns Noah because he loves Noah he cares for Noah and he warns Noah about this flood but he tells him that he's going to provide a way of escape a way of escape and that's found in Genesis chapter 6 and God says to Noah there he says Noah make me an ark make an ark what will Noah do Will he obey God? This seems a crazy assignment in the eyes of all his friends and people around him. Why would you build an ark? Desert area all around? We don't get rain here? Why would we build an ark? I'm sure there were many people that perhaps laughed at Noah and, and, and said, he's religion, he's away in the head. He's someone that trusts God. We're sure we can't see God. But boys and girls, in spite of it all, Noah stayed faithful to God and he had a decision to make. Would he then take on this, what seemed like a crazy assignment, to build an ark, to build a great big boat? Well, Noah obeyed God. He'd done the right thing. Noah loved God, and so he wanted to please God. And when we want to please someone, like our mum or dad, whoever's at home for us, we want to do things that please them, isn't that right? And so God wants us to please him. If you've trusted the Lord Jesus, well then, God wants you to keep doing those things that please God. And that brings him great pleasure. It brings God glory. And so keep you doing that. Don't give up, even though others may laugh at you. You keep going and keep obeying God and his word. 
Well, I want to remind everyone here today that God is faithful to you. And God, just like he did with Noah, he gives out a warning. Why? Because he loves us. He loves us and he wants to warn us that there's danger. God warned Noah of the danger of this flood and he needed to prepare to, to remain safe in it. And that's exactly what Noah done. And when the flood came, then they were, God shut the door and they were all in that ark. Noah and his wife and, their, and his family. And they were all safe in the ark because Noah obeyed God. And so how do we obey God? Well, first of all, there's a warning. And the Bible tells us in Mark 8 and verse 36, what shall it profit a man, a woman, boy or a girl, if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Wow, imagine that. You could have everything in this world. You could have millions of pounds and all the toys and all the tablets and all the phones and all the playstations of th that you could ever want. And yet you could lose your own soul. There's a warning here. The red here reminds me of a warning. But I think about the yellow. And I think about the yellow in football. And if you're in a football match or you're playing a sport of any description, if you do something wrong, the referee, he'll come down, he'll get his little book like this, and he will hold up the yellow card. What does that mean? What does it mean? It means that you've got a warning, isn't that right? And if you got another warning, What's the card going to be then? It's going to turn to red. And there's danger in that because then you will be punished. Then you will be put off the pitch. And boys and girls, here's the thing. God warns us that there is a judgment to come. That God is going to judge every single person in our world. We're not to judge them, but God will judge them. And this red reminds me that if they have never trusted the Lord Jesus as their saviour, they've never asked the Lord Jesus to forgive their sin, never admitted they're a sinner, never believed that Jesus is the, truly the Son of God, never confessed him. In other words, never told others about him. Boys and girls, if we have never trusted him, then the danger is our soul could be lost forever and ever. That's the part of us, boys and girls, that will live on in eternity. The Bible tells us that yellow reminds us of a heaven that the Bible talks much about. And when we're trusting the Lord Jesus, we ask him to forgive our sin. We are saved and we will go to be with him in heaven. But we have, if we have never trusted the Lord Jesus Christ, the danger is we will be lost and we will end up in that terrible place the Bible calls hell, separated from God forever and ever. But God has provided a way of escape just as he provided the ark. He's provided his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, who shed his precious blood so that you can be forgiven. That's the great news today about the gospel, that God is faithful. He has sent his son, Jesus, to die on a cross. Our little verse today reminds us that faithful is he that calleth you. Jesus is calling you today. Do you know what? If it was someone like your mum, your dad, and they were calling you and you were lost in a big shop, and you would be so glad to find them and you would maybe take them by the hand. You know, God is reaching out his hand to you and he's telling you today that I care for you. I'm faithful. I'm to be trusted. And I want you to follow me, to give up all of those things, the sin in your life, and trust the Lord Jesus Christ as your saviour. You know, boys and girls, this week we've learned lots about high five. We've learned lots about the amazing facts about God. That we can know all of those things about God and how sad it would be if we knew all about him but never actually took his hand, never actually trusted him and said, Lord Jesus, forgive me, save me and help me to go and serve you. Boys and girls, what a tragedy. If we never listened to the warning that God gives and ended up in that terrible place, I trust that you will be in heaven someday by trusting the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible tells me, and you, in 1 John chapter 1 and the verse 9, if we confess our sin, he is faithful. Who do we confess our sin to? To God alone. 
In that ark, boys and girls, there was only one door. And that door reminds us that there's only one saviour, not a priest, not a minister, not a just some other good person, but it's only through the Lord Jesus Christ that we can have our sins forgiven. If we confess our sin, he, God is faithful, he is just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know the referee here, well, sometimes he'll write a name in a book. And that reminds me, boys and girls, as I finish today, that there's a book in heaven called the Lamb's Book of Life. And when someone trusts the Lord Jesus Christ, their name is written down in the Book of Life, in God's Book in Heaven. I wonder, will your name be there? Why not complete the little sheet, the little worksheet for today? And if you have trusted the Lord Jesus and you've asked him to forgive your sin, let us know. Let us know on the cover sheet of the little worksheets or activity sheets. And we would love to be able to pray for you and to give you a Bible and rejoice with you. Boys and girls, thank you for listening this week. It's been great. Just in a pity I can't see you all. But listen, before we go, we'll say, give us a high five. Give us a high five. One, two, high five. God bless you. Thank you. Hello boys and girls, I hope you've all been listening and are ready for your final quiz of the week. So my name is Anna and this is Emma. So Emma, would you like to explain to us what our final quiz is going to be? Okay boys and girls, our final quiz is going to be the strawberry lace game. Anna's going to demonstrate for us. We're going to have five questions since this week has been all about the high fives. Okay, so what you do is you place the lace in your mouth and you swallow it as fast as you can and as soon as you swallow it, that means you've won. So I'll be for team one and Anna will be for team two. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. We're ready to go. Question number one. So throughout this week, we have learned from the high five. So the first one was God is holy. The second one was God is love. The third one was God is powerful. The fourth one is God is wise. And what was the final one we learned about tonight? about in our story we have just heard. Will we cut them down? Yeah. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. What is it Emma? The answer is God is faithful. I hope you well all done. got that. Well done. So we're getting our strawberry laces. And we'll put it in our mouth. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Go. Go. Done. Team two wins. Yay! Okay, the next question. Question number two. Mm -hmm. What does God always keep? Okay. Will we cut them down again? Let's cut them down. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. The answer is God always keeps his promises. Well done. Well done, everyone. Who will win this time? Hopefully team one. Mm -hmm. Are we ready? Daddy. Go, go. Done! <laughs> Yay, team two team again! Team two again. Well done, team two. Okay, so the third question is, what was the name of the man Phil talked about in the last story that we just heard? Can anyone remember the name of the man that Phil talked about? Will we count them down again? We will. Okay. okay. Five, four, three, two, one. What was the name, Emma? Noah. Well done, everyone. The name really? of the man was Noah. So we're going to go again. Ready? Mm hmm. Go. go. One. Okay, boys and girls, question number four. What strange thing did God tell Noah to build? Do you think they'll know? Mm, I think they will, you I know. I think they will too. They're smart, these ones. They're smart. Will we count them down? Let's go. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. What was the answer, Anna? Noah was told to build 
an art. Well done. Okay. Let's see who gets this one. Okay. Ready? Ready. Go, go. Team two. Oh, uh, team two. Well done. Okay, so this is the final question, okay? Question number five. So when we put our trust in God, what book will our names be written in? Now, Phil talked about this in his last story near the end. So what book will our names be written in when we put our trust in him? Okay, will we count them down? We'll count them down. Okay. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, one. one. What is it? The answer is The Lamb's Book of Life. Well done, everyone. So this is the final time. I wonder what team will win. Okay. Ready? Mm. Go. Let's go. Mm. Done. Well done, team one. All right, let's count up the scores. So team one got two points. And team two got three points. Yay! Well done, well team done. two. Very good. Thank you for listening. Bye. Mr. Noah built an ark. The people thought it such a lark. Mr. Noah pleaded so, but into the ark they would not go. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents. Down came the rain in torrents, and only it were saved. The animals went in two by two. Elephant, giraffe, and the kangaroo All were safely stored away On that great and awful day Dying came the rain in torrents Splish, splash Dying came the rain in torrents Splish, splash Dying came the rain in torrents And only eight were saved Whenever you see a rainbow Whenever you see a rainbow, whenever you see a rainbow, remember God is love. Today we have learned God is faithful. I hope we have enjoyed High Five Bible Club this week. Bye! Hello boys and girls, today we're learning about how God is faithful and he is faithful to help us and we're going to be learning all about a hand, a helping hand and how God is faithful to do with his hands and to look after us. So this one again is super easy. You get your little sheet and you put your hand down on the sheet. You maybe done this in school before and you just trace around your hand and whenever you've traced around your hand, you'll see that you've got a little handprint on the paper. So, mine's not very neat because I'm not very neat, but yours will look like this and probably look a lot better. And then we're going to take our felt tips like we used on Wednesday, and we're going to color it all in. I have one that was done earlier and it looks like this. And you can see that we copied the little high five logo here, like this little high five here. But you can do whatever you want, any colours that you want, and you can colour it in and design it and use your creativity to make a little hand to show us that God is faithful to do all that he has promised. Boys and girls, this is the time where we generally go outside and do all the fun activities and games and all of the stuff, but we can't do that this time. But what we are going to do is we're going to go out and enjoy some activities. All right. Watch the little videos, want you to take part, and want you to enjoy it as well. All right, boys and girls, it's time to go out and we're going to do some fitness now. So today we're going to do a wee bit of exercise. We're going to get up and we're going to move, we're going to jump about. So what we're going to do is, we have two sofas here. You can have two tables, two spots on the floor, whatever you need. I've got five teddies, but you can use cushions 
or shoes or anything you have lying nearby to do this and you need to make sure that your floor is nice and clear so there's nothing you can fall over or hurt yourself on okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take these five things from here one at a time over to here okay so it sounds really easy but as we do this i'm going to tell you different ways of doing it so i might tell you to run i might tell you to jump and i might tell you to hop across okay so we're going to start after two one two so get your first thing and run across quickly quickly and set it down and back again and then this time hit your second thing and i want you to hop on your right leg and hop back and get your next one and this time we're going to hop on the other leg so hop across and set it down make sure you don't fall hop across and this time we're going to jump so big jumps i want to see you jump really high and back again big jumps big jumps and this time we're going to go side steps like this here big side steps across and back over great job i hope you did that really really quickly and i hope no one fell so we're going to do it again this time we're going to take them from here to here and if you have a brother or sister or a friend with you i want you to try and race them to see how quickly you can get it done okay so we're going to go again and i'm going to start on count down from two so ready one two so get your first thing i want you to run back over run over set down and run back over again this time i want you to jump big jumps good job and back over this time we're going to hop again big hop big hop good job again over this time i'm going to jump backwards make sure you don't fall on anything good job back over and this time i want you to run as if your legs are jelly and your arms are jelly and back great job i hope you're feeling really fit and active now i hope you're ready okay we go one more time okay this time i want to see you go super fast so after two one two grab and go run 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 over run back run back ready jump again i want big jumps really big jumps great i'm back again and i want you to side step again side step side step back okay hop big big hops don't fall and back and this time we're going to hop on the other leg back and that's us done okay so i hope you're feeling really fit and really active now and we're going to continue on with the rest of the stuff mm -hmm.